welcome to Kitchen Creations with Robert. Welcome to my kitchen. So today I thought, you know, it's one of those days where I'm feeling a little lazy. There's nothing that makes you feel warm and cozy as a piece of nice, warm, homemade bread. So today I'm going to be making white bread. Starting, I'd like to incorporate all my wet ingredients first. So, first I am going to add, I have half a cup of warm water mixed with half a cup of milk, lukewarm. And I have here two and a quarter uh, teaspoons of yeast. I'm gonna add half of my sugar, which is a quarter cup of sugar, but I, you need that sugar to activate the yeast. And I'm just gonna mix it all together. Gonna mix in one egg. Give it a mix. And to that, now I will add half a quarter cup of butter. And I am just going to incorporate the butter into my mix. So I'm gonna let this sit while I mix my dry ingredients. And here I have three and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. I'm going to add the remainder of the sugar and one teaspoon of salt. I'm going to mix it together. Incorporate everything. And into our wet mix we go. Again, guys, I'm gonna add a little bit at a time and then mix. Again, you know I love to use my hands. Even though you use a spatula or a mixer, eventually you do have to get your hands in the dough if you're making bread because you have to need this dough. All right, and here we go with the balance of the flour. And the mix. Incorporate it well. Keep mixing until it all comes together. I clean my bowl as I go along and mix until all the flour in the bowl comes together. And we keep mixing until you bring it all together. And here you can see now it's time for us to take it onto our work surface and knead this dough until we lightly flour your work surface. And we're going to knead this dough. I usually get both hands in. I'm going to continue doing this until it all comes together. So I've been mixing my dough for about almost five minutes. It's starting to come really nicely together. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to baste it with a little bit of butter. And you're getting a nice ball. I have oiled my bowl so my flour does not, my dough does not stick. I'm gonna place this in here. And I'm going to let it proof for one hour. Covered. So I'm wanting to use this clear bowl and what I'm going to do is use a cover from another bowl so this way you guys can see what's going on inside. So there you have it. One hour and then we'll be back. So our dough has been sitting 
for about an hour and you can see it's doubled in size. And what we want to do, by the way, I'm wearing gloves because while we were waiting for the bread to prove the dough to proof, I was attacked by a knife. <laughs> so we just want to punch it down to remove all the air. We're gonna again fold it. And again, I'm gonna let it sit for another half an hour. And back into the bowl it goes. And we'll be back. And there you have it, it's been sitting for a while. I'm just gonna punch it down a little bit and get that air out. And I am gonna get ready. Gonna sit it in our pan and let it sit for another 20 minutes. And set it in that pan. I believe my pan is gonna be a little small, but let's see how we work out. I'm gonna cover it and I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and then we'll stick it in the oven after 20 minutes. So it's been 20 minutes, my bread's been sitting. What I'm gonna just do before putting it in the oven is just drizzle some butter on it. Let's lightly brush it on. And if you wanted, you could add some sesame seeds or anything else. And we're going into the oven for 25 minutes maximum, but keep an eye on it depending on your oven. Bread is out of the oven. It's got a little crack there, but we're fine. And there you have it. You've got to cool down a little bit because once it comes out of the oven, it's still a little hard because it cools and softer. But there's nothing like the smell of homemade bread. I know it's so much easier to buy bread at home. I mean. So much easier to buy bread from the stores, but just think about it. There's so many chemicals and preservatives into it, into your, that bread, that homemade bread. There's nothing like it. It's butter and hot chocolate. 